What I love about drama and about theater in general is that we start with nothing. We might start with words on a page, but we start in general with nothing. And we get to take the kids through a process of starting with just an idea, starting with just a spark, a thought, and turning it into something beautiful. I think what really draws me to photography is the ability for someone to capture a moment in time that um, is really special to them. I like taking pictures of people because I think a facial expression or the way someone holds their body, their body language is something that's very unique. They exist for a second and they're gone. And I think being able to take a picture of someone and the way they smile or the way they hold their head um, is a way of capturing in essence sort of someone's personality. With my photography class, I'm teaching yeah, the bare bones of how to literally press the shutter button and how to, how to make a picture. But what I'm also developing on my course is, is a student's ability to slow down and really take a look at length at the world around them. I got into hockey when I was about four years old. That's when I learned to skate. I love to compete. I love to work hard. You learn how to be a leader uh, in many different ways than one. Leadership is often uh, considered the backbone of this school. It's a bunch of dedicated students that want to work hard, that want to have the school community that this place is considered to have. I got involved in leadership within the first couple weeks of grade 10, and that was through Ms. Layton. She taught my dad back in high school. She convinced me to join. Sometimes being a leader is taking things upon yourself, putting your nose to the grindstone and, and doing it. When I think of a bulldog, I think of a tough dog that um, has a big tough facade and can take on the world, but at the same time I know bulldogs and as soon as you get to know them they're loving and loyal and friendly and welcoming and I think that's what we're like. We are tough, we can take care of each other and take care of ourselves, but, but we're warm and mushy on the inside and we are here for each other. I am involved in something called a chatter program, working with autistic kids to know that I'm helping them work around that and live a, a normal life and that it will help them when they are my age is that's the most rewarding thing that I can do. What I experience definitely relates to the teachers at Bowrose because once you experience helping someone in that way, I don't think that there's anything that compares to it. At the heart of the teaching and learning is a new idea. It's a cycle of birth and rebirth and rebirth. They learn something new and then they're changed forever. They can't unknow these things, and so they're, they're changed. And these new ideas are little seeds. I think to myself, well maybe, you know, in 20 years, uh, that student will all of a sudden have something ex to experience in their life, and they say, oh, that's what he meant. Oh, that's what that was about. It's really nerve wracking and, and you can feel your nerves working and you're so scared and you want to just jump up and down. But then once you get on stage, it's all different because you just forget about it and you just dance. I started dance when I was five and I did all the, the jazz, the tap, ballet, everything. Now I'm just doing ballet because that's what I really enjoy. There is a set technique that you follow and it's really prestigious and each level that you progress through, there's different goals. So for the exams, you get higher and higher and this technique gets harder and harder. And I always like to try and maintain like the same mark as I get more advanced. So I have to continue keeping my technique more advanced as well. The work ethic that you have to put in to be successful, that will carry through. So I graduated from Belrose in 2006. I absolutely loved high school and I think it was an excellent foundation for everything I've done since then. You never reach a peak in your learning, there's always something new to learn. I mean things are so, so cyclical but moving ahead at the same time. Just by listening to people and hearing their problems and using the training I've had to try and improve their lives and to try and uh, enrich the quality of their life. It just, it means so much to me and I feel so privileged to be getting the chance to do that. Uh, I'm, I miss being able to to have this sort of sense of community and the, the ease of, oh, do you want to help with this project? You just go to the next room and there's three people super eager to work on work on anything. I was in the IB program, so my studies were pretty rigorous at that point. In comparison to a regular 30 level course, and an IB 30 level course. We do read the same novels and some of the same texts, but you study it in a much deeper manner. You go into the meaning, you go into the depth of the pages. I like that it, I've really like expanded my horizons on what I, I've been able to read and what I've been able to write. 
you can make like whatever you write down is fine. There's no right or wrong answers as long as you back up your points. And I love that I can say just whatever is on my mind and you can just write it down and you can be so creative with writing. You're in smaller classes so you get to know the people very well. I started university and I had a good chunk of credits already in my degree so I had a lot more freedom in what what courses I could take. The drama as a class or as, a, as an activity is really like a microcosm of creating the world, creating a life. And they're gonna take that very skill of being able to create those things and take them off into the world to be able to be creative. It is the way to achieve something. Theater is a process by which you take something that's not there and you make it real. And what else is there than that? To go out and start a new business, build a nonprofit, or to start a family. I'm a project manager of a multidisciplinary uh, engineering uh, organization. We, we design facilities uh, that uh, will move uh, product um, either uh, to the oil sands or from the oil sand. Uh, as a project manager, you have a lot of factors to consider, uh, be it uh, environmental conformance to codes and, and specifications. I guess that's similar to being a parent in that uh, you know, you're raising your child uh, amongst all the factors and, and challenges that exist and the distractions that they have, and you're trying to set them up for success in life. So I have three boys, uh, Adrian, Corey, and Sean, and they're all bulldogs. You can feel the sense of family with everybody at Belrose, and I think the biggest thing is the grade aren't separated. Everybody feels like you're all part of the same family of Belrose. The kids here, they smile in the hallways. They enjoy it. As much as they're willing to admit they enjoy school, they enjoy coming to this school. I, I believe that my kids are more excited to go to high school than I certainly was, and I find that very refreshing. When I walk through the doors, I see faces that I've known for a long time. I see pictures on the wall that have been here since I was a student here. Some of my best friends were with me in IB, and. You know, I was a bridesmaid in one of their weddings this summer, so the, the friendships and the bonds you make there just really last. Adrian graduated in the spring of 2012 and uh, went on to the University of Victoria to take uh, biology. Every time he comes back to visit, he's always go, always at the high school to talk to the, some of the, the staff, give him an update on what, what he's up to. The, so that kind of shows the Bulldog experience never really ends. This staff is famous for uh, being able to build that kind of culture to make the students and the staff alike to feel like they have a home here. I feel like I have two families in my life. There's really no separation between these two families apart from geography. I live in one place and I have a family there, but then I also live in this building for just the same amount of time. And I want to shape what I do for the 30 youth that walk through my door every 75 minutes. They're part of that family. Uh, I feel Belrose understands the importance of having a full round education and preparing them for the next step. I think they really value the extra curricular activities, be it volunteering, be it sports, be it showing leadership, giving leadership opportunities. They're just promoters and they the best way that they build your leadership skills is just by supporting you. I think it's a magical mixture of all kinds of things but I think the overarching uh, element that is common amongst the staff and trickles down to the students is that we really care about people. From the first day that I came here at Open House last year, the energy was crazy and everybody looked so excited to be part of Belrose. And I think the energy is still there where every day people are excited to come to school and excited to learn. Involvement at Belrose is totally contagious. You, you walk in and you can't help but want to get involved. You can't help but want to be a part of the family. It, it's amazing when you take the final bow and everybody's clapping for you and the lights are going down and then the curtain closes. That's my favorite part is when the curtain closes and it's like it separates from like the actual dance to what goes on behind the stage that nobody else sees. The most beautiful part isn't the product of the, of the show. It's for me to see the kids blossom. Watching them uh, develop as human beings is a tremendously gratifying part of my job. The moment that I think is so tender to me for graduation is when um, the dance happens at the end of the night and students get out there and they're dancing with their mom or their grandfather or their uncle, someone who's raised them and someone who has spent the time and the years helping them become who they are and they get onto that dance floor together and it's such an emotional, warm moment that it really, really just kind of stops everybody and it's, it's a great 
two minutes out of the night that it just becomes about love and family and uh, who raised you. You get a bit of a lump in your in your throat, uh, you know, watching your son graduate. Uh, um, it's one of those sort of stepping stones in life that uh, um, that you, I guess, you're always preparing your kids for. And but until it happens, you don't really get that sense of, uh, of accomplishment. It's kind of like you're a parent to a hundred or so kids that you've seen because you've probably seen them from grade 10 all the way through grade 12, and you've watched them grow up. As you're as you're sitting in those chairs, you're kind of thinking about all the all the things you've done during high school and how how hard you've worked. And it's just sort of like this internal montage is going through your head and you walk through the, across the stage and you get this diploma and it's like this represents everything I've been working for for all this time and this opens so many doors for me it's just it's kind of like a surreal moment if it must be an overwhelming experience for for the parents to have to uh, to be so proud at the same time as let them go uh, I can only think that they sit and think to themselves it's gone so fast it's hard to take it all in and i just remember walking across the stage and thinking oh my god do not fall down right now and i gave the principal a big hug and it was just i felt so proud like you can just feel it in your chest you're so you're so happy and you just know this is going to be one of those moments you you remember